Hey guys, I'm GML Waffle, and today we're going to be going over physics and Game Maker. So, as usual, I've got things set up in advance. I've got a sprite for our wall. It's just a 32 by 32 brick sprite. And I've got a sprite for a box. Now, the important part about this one is that it's centered, because when we're working with physics, we don't want it to start rotating from some point in the corner or anywhere else in the box. We want it to rotate perfectly around its center. Alright, so... The first thing you want to do in order to program in physics using Game Maker is create a room and in your room go to the physics tab and check room is physics world. This will tell Game Maker that everything we do is going to be applying physics in the game. Alright, and so here in this box you'll see gravity x is 0 and y is 10. That's because 10 is down positive and we actually want to change that to a little bit higher of a value we're gonna say 25 all right so now that we're done with the room we can go ahead and create two objects our first object is going to be obj underscore wall we want to choose the sprite for the wall and check this box that says uses physics so the first thing you're gonna to want to do when you start using physics is make sure that the collision shape is proper to your sprite so since we're using a square shaped sprite, we want it to collide for a box. Another thing to do is always check your modify collision shape just to make sure that the collision box is actually over your sprite. So just right here and boom, now our collision is going to be right over our sprite. All right, so we're done with that object for the moment. Now we need to create another one called obj underscore box. Same thing, we're going to assign the sprite for the box. We're going to check uses physics and change the modify collision shape to box. And we're good there. Alright, so there's two different types of objects when using physics. There are objects that are static and there are objects that are dynamic. So a static object is going to be an object that never moves. It's not going to be affected by collision or gravity or any other physical property in the game. On the other hand, you have dynamic objects which are always going to be affected by physics. So no matter what you do, you're going to have some gravity or some sort of collision going on. There will be something affecting it physical wise. So for our wall object, as you could guess, we want it to be static. Now, there are a couple different ways we could do this, but I'm actually going to go over probably the best to practice, and that is not doing it in the object itself. So the nice part about Game Maker is you can actually create objects and then assign previous objects as the child to a parent. So we're going to create an object called controller underscore static parent. And what this one is going to do is it will be our control group for objects that aren't affected by physics. So we're done with that one. We're gonna actually just duplicate it and call the next one controller underscore dynamic parent. This one is going to be the one that really works with our physics and collision. So the first thing you wanna do is add a collision with the static parent and throw in some code and all we're gonna do is triple comment collision. In Game Maker, if you have an event and you don't have any action to it, Game Maker will automatically remove it and delete it. But the nice part about using physics is you don't actually have to add any code for the collision. All you have to do is add an event and Game Maker will handle the rest. So now that the dynamic parent is colliding with the static parent, we also want it to collide with itself. And again, we're just going to copy this and paste that little comment in there so it doesn't get deleted. Alright, so you're probably wondering why do we have these two objects? A dynamic parent and a static parent. Well, we could go by every single object and change its physical properties one by one or we could handle all of our collisions and everything just through these parent objects. So since our box is going to be an object that is directly affected by physics, we're going to change parent to dynamic parent. And since we want our wall to be a static object, 
we're going to change the parent to static parent. All right. So now that we have those two things out of the way, if we just go into our room here, I am actually going to change the size to 640 by 640. You don't have to do this. I'm just doing this for scaling reasons in my monitor. I don't want things to be clipped off of screen while I'm recording for you guys. So now that we have that, we can actually go into our objects and start creating our wall object just around the room. All right, so I just gave the wall objects this random little setup in the room to demonstrate how the box objects will collide and be affected by physics. So if we just throw a couple of these box objects in here, and make sure that they're not touching the wall objects. Actually, before we run our game, there's one more thing we have to add to the wall object. So in here, it says density is 0.5. Basically how density affects an object is kind of its weight or its mass. So if we set this to zero, gravity will no longer affect it because it doesn't have a mass. So if we just go ahead and run this, you'll notice that these boxes then fall because they're being affected by gravity and they also move and rotate. So if we wanted to make them collide a little bit better for the demonstration purpose, we can go into our room here and we change our snap to something like 8 by 8, we can then move our objects a little bit more freely around in the room. So if I line objects up like this, the next time we play it, you'll see exactly how affected they are by physics in Game Maker. All right, so if I go ahead and run it, you'll see that the objects are reacting to each other because of the physics that we set in the game. They're rotating, they're colliding perfectly, and we're not having any issues. So that in a very basic short tutorial has been setting up physics for use in Game Maker. If you guys like this video, be sure to hit that like button, comment what you thought down below, and don't forget to subscribe for future videos. In the next physics video, we'll talk about a little bit more advanced stuff like joints and how you can apply them to your very own game. So as always, I'll see you guys next time.